Yo, what's up everybody, Bokaboy here and welcome to the channel. So, today is day 10 of Bokaboy's 12 Days of Glitchmas and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a solo money glitch. Hell yeah! So, shout out to the founders of the glitch, they are 115 Stig, 707 Doper and NHJYYS. Details for them are linked in the description below guys. Now, before we get started in the video, I want to give another huge shout out to Rowan X Blue 310 He became another sponsor on the channel. Big shout out to you, bro. So, you will be added to all my video descriptions along with Mike Nitty and any other future sponsors. I really do appreciate your support, my dude. Thanks very much, guys. And just a reminder guys, there is still time to enter the prestige giveaway over on PMHD, modded accounts for both consoles and gift cards to be won, so link and details are in the description below guys. Okay guys, so this is a pretty easy glitch and very fast to do once you've hit the first step. So what you'll need is a facility, you'll need an MOC and you'll need the car that you want to duplicate stored inside the facility. Obviously the LJ Retro Custom will sell for the most, so that's the best one to duplicate. Now, the car that you will see me driving here is a stock LJ RHA. I suggest you have a whole bunch of them stored in your other garages to replace over. Now, I've just called this from my Del Perro garage and this is the last car that I'll be using before doing the glitch. So, this will be the car that gets replaced. I'll just show you in a second the license plate number and I'll show you the start of the glitch. So, all you need to do is get in the car that you're going to replace over. For me, it's the LJ RH8 352 on the end of the plate. Take note of that for later in the video. So, just get inside of that and you're going to bring up your phone, go to play quick job, play doomsday heist and start alone, are you sure? Yes. And all you're going to do is bring up your cell phone again and sit on the play quick job screen. You're going to be listening out, so have your volume turned up, listening out for this sound. And as soon as you hear that, just press X on PlayStation or A on Xbox and you'll enter the Play Quick Job again and that will cancel the alert. Now, I hope you guys heard that. I had it turned up as loud as I possibly can. But that is the noise you're going to listen out for. Once you hear that, just bring your phone down and walk inside of your facility. Now, this step is so that you are going to be able to drive vehicles about inside your facility. So, to know that you've hit it correctly, just walk up to the back and you should notice the vehicle management circle is gone. You won't have that inside your, uh, your facility anymore. So, all you need to do once you have that is just go up and get the car that you're going to be duplicating. Now, for me, as I said, yeah, I'm going to use the Retro Custom because that does sell for the most. Now, all you want to do is you won't drive out here. You will actually just be able to drive inside the facility. You need to take the LJ Retro Custom or whichever car you're duplicating. Take it down to the yellow circle and you need to park it like this. Now, you need to have it so that you're going to... When you try to exit, you're going to exit through the passenger do door. Now you've seen there, I exited through the driver's side door, so I had to just move it up a little bit and block off the driver door. Once you have that and you try to exit the vehicle, you'll see you have to slide over to the passenger side to get out. Once you have it situated like that, just go back up and get another one of your cars and bring it down. Now, the reason you're going to do this is to block off the passenger door so that you actually have to teleport into the car you're going to duplicate. So, just park it with a little bit better driving than that. Uh, park it like this against the passenger door and you'll notice that you have to teleport to get in that car. 
Once you've got it like this, you need to stand on the yellow circle and you're going to hit X and triangle or A and Y on Xbox at the exact same time and you should teleport into the car and you'll see this screen of you typing the code in to get out the facility. Once you spawn outside, you'll see you're in the duplicated car with the 352 license plate. So that is the RH8 license plate from earlier. All you need to do to save it now is request MOC as I done there and just wait for it to be delivered and drive it into the MOC. And once I've put it inside of my MOC, I'll actually show you how to rinse and repeat the glitch. You won't have to do the heist step again, you will just go straight into the facility. Now for me, that is the duplicate stored. So all I'm going to do is just call up an RH8 from one of my other garages and I'm simply going to store it inside the MOC, meaning that the duplicate will take the RH8 slot in the garage. So as you'll see, I'm just calling up my mechanic and I now have an extra LJ Custom in my Del Perro garage. So, to rinse and repeat, again, the last car that you're driving before you get into the facility is the one that you will be duplicating over. So, again, I'll show you the plate in a second on this RH8, but I'll just drive that up to my facility. As I said, there's 488 on the end of the plate. Just get out of the car, walk in. There is no need to do the, facility, uh, the high step again, just walk straight in and you'll see that everything is ready to be set up again. So when you get inside of the facility, you'll notice that the mechanic circle still isn't there. All you have to do is go up and get the car you want to duplicate and position it at the yellow circle again. So this is a really fast and awesome glitch. Once I'm doing it now, that I'm rinsing and repeating, I'm actually doing it before I can request another RH8 from my other garages. So I'd say a duplicate every 3 or 4 minutes. Brilliant glitch, really fast, really easy. If you have any troubles guys that uh, will probably come from the teleporting stage, um, just make sure you hit X or A, maybe a fraction before you're hitting Y or triangle. Um, this step here, just you you may have to mess about with it, but you will get it. It is really easy. Also, when you're doing the heist step at the start, you may find that you'll get sucked up into the heist straight away. That's only if basically you're the last person to be in the lobby and the heist is about to start. So just listen out for that noise that you heard earlier in the video, and as soon as you hear it, just press X or A, and that will cancel the heist. But if you have any trouble guys, just add it to the comment section and I'll try my best to talk you through it. That is it for day 10 of Boca Boys 12 Days of Glitchmas. Only two more to go guys and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas when it comes. Of course I'll still be adding the day 11 and day 12, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So stay tuned for those. That's it for me in this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bokaboy out. Peace.